Let's focus on our health. We live in a world where scientists toil every day to find a cure for all manner of diseases ailing humankind. Tonight we take a look at a, at a disease known as scleroderma. This disease affects both external and internal organs. KTN's Joy Doreen Bira has the details. I grew up as a normal child. And Divina went to school as normally as any human would, from primary school through to high school and on to college, where she trained as a primary school teacher until August 2010, shortly after her graduation. But even she didn't quite understand the changes in her body. We went to pick tea with my mom. But since it was very cold, I said that I can't pick anymore because there is pain in my fingers. And my mom said, no, you are just, you, you just want, you don't want to work anymore. You just go and teach. Not nearly. Her symptoms were mistaken for laziness and so Divina left home to go get a teaching job. But not long after she began to enjoy teaching. I woke up in the morning, I felt that there is numbness in my fingers and my toes that it reached an incident that my fingers can turn into plish or plaquish, as they can say, and then I can't touch anything. I just feel cold until when the sunlight is there or when it is warm, that's when the numbness can seize itself. Stretching her hands was painful. Her legs, fingers and face started swelling, forcing her to seek medical attention. The first three tests at different county hospitals could not diagnose her condition that needed urgent attention each passing day. Months later, her skin was very itchy and with each scratch her skin turned into a different color affecting her chest, hands, thighs and parts of her lower back. All signs of a rare disease known as scleroderma. Scleroderma is a disease where the body's immune system attacks health tissues and this is a condition that not many Kenyans do understand and is affecting a growing number of people who are at the end of the day becoming helpless. As the world marks World Scleroderma Day, what are some of the options that these patients or people with this condition can explore? Paul Etau is one of Kenya's only four aromatologists who have specialty in dealing with diseases like scleroderma. The other bit is exposure to industrial chemicals or pesticides. But in most of the patients we see in Kenya, they actually have no risk factor for this disease in that way, and neither do they have a family history. So it's actually a disease that may just occur, and commonly in uh, younger uh, women. While the cause remains unknown even to medical scientists, stigmatization is said to delay the process of healing for most patients as the more time taken to expose the symptoms, the less the chances of survival. My old friends, even they stopped calling me. I think it is because I can't assist, I can't call them. You know, a friend needs you to call back or to visit him like that, of which I cannot do. As soon as you develop these symptoms, if somebody has a high uh, index of suspicion for it, then that is the best time to treat. And also the other challenge is the fact that there are very few specialists who can treat scleroderma and the diagnosis and treatment would cost up to 30,000 Kenya shillings 